Hi, I'm Wade. And I'm Lorraine. And we are on, on the, the off, off ramp. And uh, we're exploring the seventh largest lake in the world, I think it was, right? Ah, I think in the North American continent. continent? I don't uh, know. Yeah, I can't remember. We'll check our details on that. Anyway, we're back to Lake Winnipeg, but a little bit further north, we are at Heckle Island Provincial Park. We have camped at this park many times throughout the years, and uh, this time we're going with really good friends, Dave and Laura, and we're really looking forward to exploring that island by bike, doing some hiking, and just checking it out and sharing it with you. Yeah, we hope you get a good feel for this campground. Yeah, thanks for joining us. Make sure you subscribe, hit the like button, ring that bell, make sure you get notifications of many more wonderful Manitoba campgrounds that we've been in this summer. Another day, another campsite. We are at Hecla Provincial Park at the Gull Harbor campsite, and it is a beautiful site. Nice and large. Friends of ours, Dave and Laura, are next door. We have a little connecting path, and Lake Winnipeg is just on the other side of those trees. Time to go on a hike with Dave and Laura. Yes. All right. We need to work up dinner. Yeah. We're trying to find access to the to the lake shore. Off of our site is a very steep cliff. So we're hoping the further we go this way, we might find some access down to the down to the water because it looks like a beautiful night. So there is a 
There was warnings of bears in the area, they said a couple weeks ago, but they haven't seen one now for a while, but their bear trap is still up. Okay, you know what? They're ignoring the sign that says danger. Uh, stay away. What does it say there? No, we're not, bear we're not trap. Not keep away. Video. <laughs> Do not enter. Do not enter. So it's a bit of a steeper, steeper, slippery slope. So they put some, uh, they put a rope up there. Somebody did. Made it a little bit easier to come down. Yeah. But it brings That's us down to this. Here. I'll hold it here. Yeah. I feel like. Oh, that is bright. That is bright. <laughs> okay. So we're going to show you around the island a little bit today. We're going to see, um, we're going to climb up this tower and check out the view over Lake Winnipeg. We'll see if it's open. We don't yeah. even know if it's unlocked, but we'll check. Well, I'm <laughs> sure the tower is open. And then after this, we're going to head over to uh, the pier. And there's a restaurant at the pier. There's a little lighthouse. Then we're gonna to head to the village, to Hecla Village, and and uh, just show you some of the old stuff, uh, the history that's there. There's lots, too. lots to do here. Lots of biking trails, but hiking trails too. Yeah. So stay with us as we climb the tower. Okay, let the climb begin. Please block out my huffing and puffing as I come up these <laughs> stairs. <laughs> ah. There. Did it? Yeah. Your mountain climb for the day. And that is the inland sea of Lake Winnipeg. Such a huge lake. We did some research on it yesterday and uh, the maximum depth was about 36 meters, I guess, so about oh, 100 wow. feet. So it's not a super deep lake. The one thing I remember from Lake Winnipeg as a kid is the big pelicans. And they are always so, so much fun to watch. So the bald crow eagles, duck. Huh. Gulls. Common tern. Not seagulls. But gulls, herring gulls, and ring-billed gulls, and common terns. Now, a crow duck I've never heard about before. I wonder if sometimes you and I have thought of them as the... Um, as cormorants. Cormorants, and really it's crow duck. Oh, it is actually. A double-crested cormorant is often called a crow duck. Oh, okay. There you go. Okay, there we go, yeah. Okay, so oh. we are here on Hecla Island, up in Gull Harbor. Okay, so this right here, Grassy Narrows, is that what mm -hmm. we drove through where there was water on both sides? Yes. Yeah. Little. Yeah, so that's the... Um, it's a man-made peninsula, right? Or a man-made yeah, causeway. Yeah, it's right here. So this causeway we drive through to get here. Um, I have heard of people going to a little grindstone point over here, and apparently it's supposed to be very nice there too, but we have never never traveled that side of it. I wonder if there's a campground over there? Is that no, what you mean? No, I don't think so. I'm not sure, actually. I'll have to look it up. Bet it's a gravel road, though. Yeah, yeah, it's all gravel, so that alone makes me not want to travel down there. <laughs> So we're hearing the sounds of Sunset Beach around on, on the little hiking trail. Looks to be maybe about half a kilometer or something. Yeah, it's longer than I thought it would be. But I'm hearing... Hearing children. Hearing some kids' voices yeah. down there having fun at the beach. But I don't know what kind of a beach it is, so we're going to find out. It's been a long time since we've been here. Oh, so it is a sandy, beachy area. We have oh. been here before, but I just have wow. totally forgotten about it. Me too. It's been so long. <laughs> All right, we are taking a walk on the pier. Uh, we are here at the Gull Harbor Marina area, I guess it is. Yeah. And there's a restaurant here, the Lighthouse Restaurant and Lounge. There's an old lighthouse that's been here for a while notice that you can do kayak rentals boat tours charters buy firewood here some people are fishing right off the pier and of course you can climb that lighthouse yeah let's go take a look at the lighthouse so for starters there is a little store and gas station that would be next to 
the lighthouse restaurant over there and then from here a we're big on parking lot for boats and trailers or trucks and trailers then there's a small marina here for some sailboats and some yachts Somebody's just bringing their boat up. I guess they're done fishing for the day. I don't see any commercial boats in the dock right now, but we were here a couple years ago, and the uh, commercial fishermen all, all bar parked along the pier there. And I think there's a family at the end of the dock doing some fishing. Yeah. And then in the distance is the lighthouse that we walked to the other day with uh, Dave and Laura. Oh yeah, so there's the little white one, which is mostly decorative, and then yeah, the, it's the old big one. steel one. A lot of boats around that point. There must be fish there. Yeah, there's a lot of boats fishing. I don't know if I've ever seen that many crowded around this area here like that. This is gorgeous. Yeah, so this is Gull Harbor. And then you can't really see it from here, but along the tree line out there is the actual public beach area. This town has lots of history and as you can see we're standing in front of a or parked in front of a little church in this area. I know that Wade mentioned earlier that you know it's an Icelandic community and uh, has lots of history. The Hecla Church. The first church on the island was built on this site in 1890. It would have been constructed as early as 1878 had it not been for a dispute with the sawmill operators. The logs prepared by the settlers for the church were seized, setting back their plans for several years. The original church served the community until 1927 when this larger one was built in its place. The rain is in bed. It's 8.30 in the morning. I've been up for a while already. I did. Uh, I just finished doing some drone shooting, and I'm going to head on a bicycle ride and show you guys the trail to the lighthouse. Uh, we did hike it the other day. I'm leaving Site 21 in Bay Two and heading down, heading down to the lighthouse walk on the seashore of Lake Winnipeg. We have a early morning smell of a skunk that has come through the campground. But it is a beautiful sunshiny day after a day of rain yesterday. This is great. Sadly today we have to go home, but we're going to enjoy as much time as we can here at the campground. Beautiful campsites. So this is into the, uh, one of the lot later weeks of August, but there are still quite a number of electrical sites available for those of you that want electrical sites. There's some great camping available at this campground. <clears throat> it's about two hour drive outside of Winnipeg, approximately. You go north past Gimli and you're on Lake Winnipeg. And if you have bicycles, this is a great place for biking. The trails are great, the roads are paved, and you can get from point A to point B in pretty quick order. You can even take your bicycles down to the beach, or you can walk. It's a bit of a walk, but you can take your bicycles down to the beach. There's a central shower location. I went and used it last night. I went around 10 o'clock last night. And uh, these showers, there is no cost. There is no coins used on these showers. They're for free. There's the shower house, but I took my bicycle. It was a short little ride. I had the headlight on. So you can either walk 
walk your way to the beach or you can take a take a bicycle and bicycle down to the beach walking will take quite a bit more time it is a bit of a walk it's a short little bicycle ride yesterday there was sun and there was rain you there's a playground area at the beach and as the light startled our eyes we let go of disguise and now there's something in the Sparkly shimmer on our skin Restoring everything within oh, Dreamy, breezy, we go Easy, easy on our tiptoes These early morning rides are just absolutely beautiful. Okay, here's our lighthouse walking trail. There is an area up ahead where the gravel becomes pretty soft, so that may be time for a two handed bicycle ride. Now these big loose stones oh, make it a little tighter and tougher biking down this trail. It's pretty soft. There we go, out of the soft stuff. So if you come down and do the hike here, there's a little picnic shelter in case there's some rain or you just need a place to, shop, uh, to stop and rest. And it looks like they're even building some uh, washroom here as well too. And there's, that's the, the new lighthouse. The old lighthouse is still standing, not quite as high. It's right behind those trees. That is the Gull Harbor Lighthouses. Only one of them being active at this point. Number of guys out fishing. I did make it to the lighthouse and my phone ran out of storage. I had to clear it a bunch of old videos, but to capture this. And the fog started rolling in a little bit. The guys are fishing. I guess there must be some walleye here. Well, we spent a few good days here at uh, Gull Harbor on Hecla Island, Hecla Island Provincial Park. What a great time hanging out with Dave and Laura. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, that was great. It's good having friends here. And uh, we're hoping that what we've shown you has kind of encouraged you to come and try out Heckle Island if you haven't been here or if you haven't been here for many years come back and give it a shot it's a beautiful place to be great campground lots to do a uh, lot to explore lots it's of hiking beautiful. trails and walking trails and just the beautiful shoreline of Lake Winnipeg so remember to uh, ring the bell so you get future notifications of more videos that are coming up subscribe to our channel yes and leave a comment we'd love to hear from you so we don't have too much more planned for this year. We have a few little trips planned and, and yeah, a few keep... hopes and hopes and dreams, but we'll see how it works out. But keep watching. Um, but we also know that we have to hold, hold our, our plans, plans loosely. loosely.